In tonight's Eye on Earth, making science fiction a reality. A company in Texas and a Harvard scientist are trying to bring, bring back a massive mm. extinct species to roam the Earth once again. Sound sounds familiar? <laughs> As WBZ's Jacob Wyckoff shows us, it sounds like a certain prehistoric franchise with a climate change twist. <laughs> Decades after Jurassic Park hit bookshelves and movie screens, a Texas company is working to resurrect not dinosaurs, but woolly mammoths. I just fell in love with the idea of the project. Ben Lamb, the CEO of Colossal, is teaming up with renowned Harvard scientist George Church to bring mammoths back to life. And I reached out to George Church uh, at Harvard University. His passion in his voice changed completely when he started talking about de-extinction in, in the mammoth. Lamb says there aren't any scientific barriers in what they are trying to do. Over the last decade, humanity has made significant advances in understanding DNA. For the first part, you know, we're, we, we actually have a sequence genomes of various mammoths of, of DNA that's been collected uh, over the years. And that process is really to kind of understand the genome and how it relates to its closest phylogenic relative being the Asian elephant. The Asian elephant's actually about 99.6% uh, genetically identical to uh, the, the, the woolly mammoth. And all of that gene splicing and dicing will be done by something called CRISPR, a revolutionary editing tool for genomes. Lamb says the real challenge will be gestation. You know, we can leverage surrogacy. We prefer ex utero development. And so we're about four to six years away from our first calves. Colossal claims the reason behind this gargantuan mission is to combat climate change. And they already have a plot of land picked out for the mammoths in Siberia. You can actually lower the temperature uh, of the uh, of the permafrost from anywhere from half a degree all the way up to nearly 10 degrees. Trees breathe in carbon dioxide and release oxygen back into the air. But in this case, the mammoths would actually knock down the trees, creating more spots for grasslands. Grasslands are pretty good at storing carbon in their roots. The elephant-like creatures would then pack the snow deeper, acting as an insulator. All of this to help prevent the melting of permafrost, which releases harmful greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Still, the big question is bringing back an extinct species really a good idea? But your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. We are in the world of synthetic biology, right? Like these tools exist. It's hard to kind of put the genie back in the bottle. We need to be really thoughtful about the intended and unintended consequences uh, of our actions. Lamb says because of the mammoth size, they would be pretty easy to roll back if something went wrong. He worries more about other groups that could bring back ancient insects or other small species. That would be much more difficult to contain. Hollywood becoming real life. I'm Jacob Wyckoff, WBZ News.